I am number one, not number two If I'm not the one, I'm uncomfortable See the competition I've been running through Leveled up, I only see him in my rear view Switch! Yeah, I'm ballin', yeah, I'm ballin', been ballin' Yeah, I'm ballin', yeah, I'm ballin', been ballin' I'm winning, get buckets from the court side to the nosebleeds Yeah, they love it I'm winning, get buckets from the first in and the last out, see me coming. First take, I'm hotter than hot, hotter than some boiling water, I bubble the pot. Team full of ballers, baby, we winning a lot. I'm like Curry with the rock when I get to my spot. I'm tapping in, I'm passionate, this is what passion is. This here, nah, this is no accident. From the start to the finish, I'm cashing in. I am number one, not number two If I'm not the one, I'm uncomfortable See the competition I've been running through Leveled up, I only see him in my rear view Switch. Yeah, I'm ballin', yeah, I'm ballin', been ballin' Yeah, I'm ballin', yeah, I'm ballin', been ballin' Welcome everyone to the house that Rodney built Notre Dame Stadium, underneath the watchful eye of Touchdown Jesus, the home of the Fighting Irish. We have a ranked versus unranked battle coming up here, and you know how chaos can ensue if they start smelling an upset. As we'll see, the Yukon Huskies taking on the winners of seven straight, the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. Throws to the wideout. Where did he find a hole in the defense? The expressway is wide open. And he glides into the end zone easily, but this one might be coming back. This Notre Dame offense carving it up. They're working with another first down. Might as well give it to him again. He has the first and still on his feet break the rhythm? How do we give them something that can create a tackle for a loss or a sack or something to get got some room, head to the goal line throwing it, running it and getting guys the ball out on the perimeter great job and he's loose and he'll take it to the house touchdown Notre Dame they just took the air out of that thing that might be an understatement they took the ball away and just wore down, just grinded away at that defense took a lot of time off the clock in the process as well. I'm impressed with the physicality up front of this offense, because that's where it all starts. If you're going to march the ball down the field like they just did. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. What a good run. Making sure they shut down that option. Pressure coming. And the defense gets home and makes a play at the 37-yard line. And you don't want to see this trend continue. Last week, he was sacked four times. The offensive line, this offense as a whole, needs to get in better situations, get rid of the football faster, and not keep getting their quarterback hit. Now on fourth down, they'll try a field goal. This is going to have to be unleashed from 54 yards out. He got it. How nice is it as a head coach to have a kicker like this? It makes these decisions on fourth down so much easier. Just strut him out there and let him stroke it through the uprights. working on throwing on air. But when you put a defense in front of them, now things start to speed up a little bit. Here's a field goal try. From the gun, wants to pass. Going for it all. And it's caught. Touchdown, Fighting Irish.
Trying to get the corner. Discards a man. Just weapons this offense has. A lot of different guys can touch the football in a variety of ways, but they've been running it very, very well in this game so far. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. First down, you know you always want to establish the running game. How about this offense? Nothing fancy. Run the football, be physical, get a big game. Motion. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. And to the end zone. Touchdown, Eric! The mantra is always finished. They're trying to do that here in the regular season with this week. And that's his second receiving touchdown of the game. My man is just finding pay dirt. I'll tell you what, these are the kind of guys that you continue to feature throughout a game that he can do this kind of damage after. And in interceptions, he just has a feel and reads the quarterback's ball in the air. Intercepted! And how about that play? Even with the short return, they're in the red zone. They've got it at the 17. What a game-changing play by this defense. Nice job. You got them backed up in their own territory coming out. Now you force the turnover, set your offense up with some great scoring field position. They'll have to settle for a field goal attempt. And he'll try this one from the left hash and 33 yards away. Kick is good. The offense has three points to show for the drive. And now the lead is even bigger. Well, they're able to get a field goal and put three points up on the board after getting that interception. You would like to have seen the offense do a little bit more with that possession and give themselves an opportunity to score a touchdown. But listen, teams will take three points any way they can get. We're going to create something now that we can build on in the second half. Coach said all week he wanted to be aggressive. This is a great opportunity to show that right now. Yeah. Defense was swarming around this quarterback, and he never had a chance to get it off. And down he goes, and we will head to halftime. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. All right, guys, looks like we've got a great one in South Bend going on. An entertaining first half, and we've got a multi-possession lead to break down thanks to the surgical precision of this offense. Might honestly take more time to talk about what didn't work than what did. The running game, the passing game, gadget plays have worked. Now it's just a matter of finishing the job. With that said, let's send it back to the fellas there in the shadows of Touchdown Jesus. Fourth down, here comes the field goal team. And for the second time, they'll go for the field goal. The first one was good, and they'll try from 42. Never a doubt. Right down the middle. Wait just a second. There is a flag on the play. If this is on the defense, it could be a first down. against the run so I look for this offense to to be more physical be creative try to find ways to run the ball against this defense that is so dynamic here comes the field goal unit as they'll try to take the three it is true as he puts three on the board and down he goes at midfield. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Off play action. Fires to the right. Complete downfield. That's where they'll mark him down, but what a play there to pick up a first down. Well, how about the offense setting that? Use the play fake, now to throw. Unloads it left.
defense has had absolutely no answer. He's been on the money. He's been on fire, making the right decisions and just carving this defense up. Exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, back up inside their 20. Pockets, and the ball comes out. What a disastrous play. Oh, looks as if the defense got it. Uh, yeah, seems about right. Defensive touchdown. You gotta get so many hats to the football and swarm when the ball sometimes comes out. But what do you do? You pick it up, take it back to the house. What a play by the D. He's looking to throw. He's going for it all. Fires into traffic, intercepted. Going the other way, and he's got room. And a big return after the INT sets up the offense for this possession. You know, the best free safeties I ever played against were the ones that just have us. It's like they know where the ball is going, and they can just bait the quarterback into trying to make throws that they never have a chance of making. That's what that guy did right there. He baited the QB into a back, and they're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. Now on fourth down, they'll settle for a field goal try. He boomed it through a 50-yard field goal, showing off that powerful leg. Well, that kid just showed off his hammer for a leg, 50-plus, and he did it with ease. Try to get it on the ground. And he breaks into the open. Touchdown by the Irish. And the stomping has commenced. That one pushes the speed out a little bit more here in the fourth. And now they can smell eight straight wins. Man, this has been a complete performance. The defense has been lights out. And the offense, obviously, just continues to pour it on. This is what you call having a great day. Putting it all together, offense, defense, couple type of zone coverage it's going to be. Looking to throw on second down. What a snag by the defense. Bringing it back. He's at the 10. No one move. And it's going to be a pick six. Touchdown, Iron. They've now extended that lead. They're trying to hang on for a week. You didn't think it could be any worse, right? You thought this game's over as it is anyways. Offense still throwing the football, still trying to make plays, and the defense just continues to pour it on, gets the pick, makes its way all the way to the end zone. Come to expect the unexpected, fellas. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. Ripping off a... The offense has struggled. They're not going to win this game. But trust me, this coaching staff is still trying to find things to build off of. 25 unit in the nation when it comes to stopping the rush. And that really helps them out. Touchdown, UConn. Made the grab and finished the deal in the end zone. Nice pitch, nice catch, and listen, maybe this helps next game, right? Like, we're trying to find a rhythm, find something that works, find somebody to go to, and this offense is struggling, and you're down by a 1,000, but I like that they continue to fight. Without practice, you think you're going to have a chance to light up the scoreboard, but they're just not able to hook up. You've got to give this defense... And the defense gets home and makes a play at the 37-yard line. The defense puts the exclamation point on the day. They have had a wonderful day, man, doing everything great. Just You could tell they were dialed into what was going on and now just throw another sack in the equation, hitting the quarterback, being disrupted. They've been all over the field. Yeah, and this crowd's been jacked up. They've been excited. Now they get to breathe a little bit, Palmer. Nice lead. This offense needs to go out and protect them. Yeah, they've been the more physical team. All open runway ahead. The 30. He's at the 10. 
Looking to throw right down the middle. And the pass is intercepted. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. Heat up them pass rushers, bring in them DBs. That's what I'm doing in this situation. When I got the lead by a couple scores late in the ball game in the fourth quarter, I'm going to rush the passer like crazy. I'm going to put all those DBs back playing the pass. That's what happened. Great job understanding they're going to have to take shots. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. Pass the sticks and still on his feet. That will be the final play as they make the stop and the clock has expired here. Well, this one had all the suspense of a bug hurtling his way toward a windshield and they did splatter them, an absolutely dominating performance. Look, you gotta give the coaching staff a ton of credit. They obviously had their guys ready to play and motivated right from the opening kick. All three phases we saw, just spectacular football. No mental mistakes, David. You really can't play better than that. Nah, and it's, it's really fun to do this. Come out and just dominate opponents. Start from finish. Uh, nothing to worry about. You just know you're better. You're going to do you. Put up a bunch of points and win by a lot of points. And that's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.